guys, welcome back. Um, this week I have a new toy. Um, actually, I've had this toy for, for a little bit. I bought a uh, used Ender 3 Pro. Um, it's pretty basic, but uh, it is a, a PLA style um, 3D printer. And I wasn't sure how much I'd actually start playing around with it. But um, as you can see, I kind of built a whole bunch of little odds and end pieces here for it. And I really like it. it it's, it's come out, you know, fairly good. I, I've had a trial and error a few things with it. Um, but overall, I'm very impressed with it. I really enjoy using this thing. Um, the main reason why I ended up buying it was to do some things for my train layouts. And if you've watched any of my other video, which would be the tour of my layouts, you would know on my big HO scale um, layout that I run, uh, I use MRC for the um, DCC run. And on eBay and everywhere else, you can find um, NCE handles and you can find Digitrack little custom handles. But finding an MRC handle, a little cradle handle that will hold this, is pretty challenging. Um, I went on Thingverse and uh, found that this brand is also called Gage Master over in UK. And you can find somebody built a cradle for it. But they only built a cradle for the Advance Elite. Now the Advance Elite, as you can see, um, is really smooth. It's just single on both sides. It's the same thickness all the way down. There, there is, there's, there's no extra bulge or anything else. But on the wireless, if you look at that, it does have a bulge on it because it has to accommodate the battery pack that's in there. So that poses a little bit of a problem. So I took and I kind of customized, printed in a little MRC label up there, hard to see since it's all black. Um, and then I adjusted the size of this a little bit better. Um, so it slides right in. It has just a little bit of play, but it slides in and comes straight out. Um, and this is just the basic version. But I wanted to make one for this. Um, so that way it would fit because if you take the standard one, plug that in, that's all the more it's going to set down in there. Um, doesn't really fit too well. So I don't really care for that. So I went and I programmed in through Tinkercad um, a design. And as you can see here, the design um, made a 3D printing of it. I had to adjust this size several times. But I ended up making this, um, a little porthole on the side for the on off switch. So that way it can, uh, you can have the switch on and off depending on, and when you slide the cradle in, it does not hit the switch to take a chance on damaging that. On the inside, there is a little relief uh, piece there. It's, it's actually angled. It's hard to really see in this light. And maybe that helps out uh, right in there. There's a little angle to it so you can uh, it, it will accommodate the battery pack angle that's on here. So as it slides in, slides down, very, very, very little rattle that's to it um, and it, it hooks up really good. So this is what I've been focusing on. Uh, I created several of these. I, I really like them. Um, and uh, now I'm going to go add this to my layout and uh, see if I uh, like where I put these at. So let's go do that part next. All right, so I'm on the back side of my mountain area back here. And as you can see, I've got all my controls underneath here. Um, we've got a future video coming out. I'm just kind of testing it out right now. But we're actually going to tuck all my controls underneath this area. Um, just to make a little bit more space around my layout. Um, but for right now, I'm thinking of adding um, my panel piece to fit right up in there. 
So we're gonna pull this screw out. And we're gonna use this screw. Um, that screw right there is, is just to hold the fascia on. It's also siliconed into place as well. Um, so we're gonna put this down, re-put re this into place. All right. Take my level up there. Look at that, beautiful. Now we're gonna take my screw gun. All right. Okay. Now we're actually gonna peel the whole thing out because if I ever want to move this around my layout, I still don't wanna have just that hole. I wanna be able to plug that hole back in with a screw. So we're going to take my countersink bit right here and we're gonna countersink a hole for it so that way I can just put a screw back into place if I ever need to. she fits. There it is. All right. So now we can take the screws. Finally, like I said, with the wireless having that little bit of an edge out there, slides right in. Holds perfectly. And allows it to slide in and out. So, short little video today, guys, but uh, I'm really happy with it. I've been playing around with this printer for so long, and honestly, this is like my 11th try at making this cradle fit. So, um, Hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will try to leave some links on the printer, um, the things that I did get off of Thingiverse and, and whatnot, all that will be in the description. So uh, again, like and subscribe if, if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment if you would like to and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care guys, thanks. Mm -hmm.